Hey everybody, this is Corey Jenkins with Aspen Grove Studios and today I've got a, a quick little tutorial for you. I am going to show you how to add uh, large files to your WordPress media library uh, using FTP and uh, another plugin that we'll uh, go over here shortly. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because uh, certain scenarios arise where maybe you need to upload a, uh, a large media file uh, and your, your server uh, settings are, are set too low. So your file upload limit and your server settings are, are set too low for you to actually upload that, uh, that file. So let's say you have a, um, a 10 megabyte uh, high resolution PDF that uh, you have to upload for clients and uh, the upload limit on the server is set to, let's say two megabytes or something, uh, which is usually default. Uh, normally, you'd go into the to the server to the cPanel, and you can adjust these settings. You can contact the host, and they can uh, raise your max upload limit. But uh, from time to time, when you're in a bind, maybe you're working late at night, um, you don't have access to you know to call the host and and get that uh, lifted, or you don't have uh, cPanel access. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to uh, add that file via FTP, and then pull it here into your media library. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off here with FTP. Um, I use uh, FileZilla as my FTP client, and of course, you'll have to have credentials to uh, to access the the site's uh, files with F with FTP. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, navigate uh, to the website files. Here, I'm on a site called Divi Beta that I'm using for demonstration purposes. And um, from there, you want to go into WP Content, Uploads, and then WordPress categorizes your uploads by year and then by month. So I'm going to go into 2018 and February. So I haven't uploaded uh, anything this month yet, so this directory is uh, currently empty. Uh, so I'm going to grab the, uh, the file that I need to upload. In this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna grab this file. Uh, it's an image file, 9.2 megabytes. Normally on a website, that's a big no-no. Um, but like, like I said, it, it could be the case of a high-res PDF file or something else like that that you have to, um, to uh, upload. So all I'm gonna do is uh, just drag this file and drop it here into uh, this February 2018 um, directory listing. And you can see down here that it's uh, uploading. And depending on your uh, internet speed, that um, might take a little bit. I'm running on some pretty fast internet. Okay, so here is the, the file. Um, it's finished uploading. It now resides on your server. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, but even though we've uploaded it uh, to the server, uh, I still can't access it here in our media library unless by default, unless you actually upload it through the media library, it won't appear here. So let's say you know we, we want that to be in here for future use for the client and and make it easy on them, so they're not having to grab the link um, from the server and, and plug it in on the front end. Okay, so the next step is we're going to um, add a plugin, and this plugin is called Add from Server. It's uh, real intuitive and easy to use. I'm just going to. Type it in here. We're going to grab that from the um, plugin repository. Okay, and we'll activate it. All right, and after you uh, install and activate, you are going to come over here to your um, media tab, and you'll see that you have this uh, this new um, item that says "Add from Server." So let's click on that. Okay, um, so normally that uh, isn't going to come in um, and show that first off. So I'm going to go to the uh, content folder here. So I, I've already ran this to grab some screenshots. So that's why it was showing uh, when I first pulled it up. It, it uh, had that in the database. But this is this is the screen that you're going to see uh, initially if you haven't used this plugin yet. And it's, it's going to give you some different directories here to access. So I'm going to go to uh, where I uploaded that file to. I'm going to go to Uploads, 2018, February. 
and there is the, uh, the file that I uploaded. So let's just click import. That'll take just a minute to grab that from the server. Okay, so this has been added to the media library and um, you'll see here it gives you some different uh, thumbnail sizes to choose from. Uh, depending on what theme you're using, uh, these might vary. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just uh, not pay attention to those right now because I'm just uploading the, um, the file. And I, I don't really care about all these different thumbnail sizes at the moment. Uh, okay, so, so now that we have that uh, confirmation, that file has been added, I'm gonna go here to, uh, to the library. And you can see here, here is that file. I uploaded the nine megabyte file and it is in our WordPress media library and uh, ready for future use um, by you or the client. So uh, I hope this helps out. I know this isn't a, a very common scenario, although I've, I've come across it a couple of times where that upload limit was set so low, I, I couldn't add the, uh, the file and get it into the, to the library. So hopefully this helps you out and gets you out of a bind in the future. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial and um, visit our website aspengrovestudios.com. We have plenty more uh, tutorials on that website, as well as our other uh, sister company, Divi.space. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.